Uh, Māori has been wanting to make it for uh, 30 years, and um, I think, uh, I'm, and I'm really grateful it took him that long, even though it must have been very painful for him, um, because it means that I, I was the person that ultimately got to go on the journey with him. He, I, I, had heard, I had heard that he wanted to make the film, turn this book into a film, and um, I had got sent the script, and um, I was asked if I would audition and, and meet with him, and I, I, and I hadn't had an audition for a while, um, which was really great that he wanted to audition for the, for the role. Um, it, was, it was heartening and reassuring because it meant that he was he, he was going to do his due diligence and make sure that this was the right fit. I think a bunch of us, or there was a bunch of us that ended up reading for, for him. And it was in his office in, 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 in the city and we, we read a bunch of scenes and he was very lighthearted and fun and jovial about it. We were doing these very intense scenes and a really great actor was reading off camera, Michael Stuhlbarg, who's just this great, great um, actor. And we... Um, it was about two or three hours. We, we read a bunch of scenes and talked and with the casting director, and it was it was a really just a wonderful process. And then and then he, he he asked me if I wanted to do it, and I said, well, well, I mean, yes. <laughs> there's, there's no there's there's no other option. You know, it's a passion project, and it's such a you don't often get to tell these kinds of stories in cinema. You know, it's it's hard to get a, a film made about big themes about. That, that's uh, so epic and sweeping as this story is, and so um, so intangible in its in its themes, and so um, ungraspable. And it's the kind of thing. It's like it's like working with a poem that is constantly unfolding in terms of its meaning. And um, I I relish that opportunity. Marty and, and I would talk uh, extensively. It would it was mostly about the spiritual themes and about the journey of the character and where he is when and what gets revealed to him when and what he's struggling with. Um, and it, it became very personal, you know, we would share our own stories uh, in how we related. Um, and I think, that's, I think he was looking for that in, in the, the actor that eventually played Father Rodriguez. He wanted someone that struggled with these questions. He wanted someone that cared in, 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 about similar things um, where our kind of plasticity matched up, I suppose. Silence is the story of two Jesuit priests in um, the 1600s from Portugal who are on a mission in Japan to find their old mentor and teacher, Father Ferreira, played by Liam Neeson. And, um, it's a double mission. One is to find um, their, their mentor, and the other is to keep the flame of Christianity burning and alight in this country that is, has, all, has outlawed Christianity. The locations were, were epic unto themselves, the, the nature that the characters find themselves in, and, and then Dante Ferretti, uh, the, the production designer, built Macau Harbour in the middle of Taiwan. He built Japanese marketplaces of 1600s. You know, the detail and the research that went into all these things is just unbelievable. Um, and, then, and then Rodrigo just shot it so beautifully, the Rodrigo Prieto. Um, and, and, um, and yeah, physically it was very demanding. First of all, Adam and myself and Liam, we, we, we had to lose a lot of weight. To be starving priests in um, in you know in an outlawed Christian Japan, um, so that was a big physical toll. The cast that Marty put together is unbelievable, um, starting with Adam and and Kieran. Um, you know, a Adam is such a an instinctive actor and such a unique actor, and um, play playful and um, in the moment and unpredictable and spontaneous and. Um, and I and I love him, and I think that's very important for, for that both of us loved each other as much as we possibly could, and you know, kind of brothers in arms. Him having been a marine, I think there was something very uh, I found fascinating about talking to him about that and about the bond that he had with his fellow soldiers, and 
you know, in walking into possible, you know, deadly circumstances together and what that does to the nature of a, of a friendship, a relationship. Issei Ogata, who plays, um, who plays the governor of Chik Chikugo, the, 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 the Grand Inquisitor, um, Issei, is, um, is kind of this unbelievable snake charming presence. He's a magician kind of alchemist that you can't look away from, and, but you fear that if you look too long, you will turn into stone. He has this magical quality about him. And he's a performance artist and an actor, and, uh, but he made his, he, he didn't have any age makeup. He's, he's 20 years younger probably than the, the character he's playing. But he made, he, he, he created creases in his face without the help of makeup, just by holding his face in a different way. Um, I, I have no idea how he did what he did, but he's a magician and um, yeah, so it was a real privilege to be able to just observe and absorb all of these different performers and the different approaches and it kind of speaks to the multi multicultural coexistence of, of, of that, that we're talking about in the film, I think. I think it raises the question of how do we live together and how do we coexist and how do we live and let live. Um, and it honors the, the work of missionaries while also questioning the validity of it and questioning the impulse um, to impose a belief system onto, onto another people. But it also questions the, the, um, the existing belief system being um, so petrified of anything new. That's the genius of this film is that there's no, everyone's right and everyone's wrong. Um, and uh, there's no, there's no way. <laughs> there's no one answer, there's no one way. And um, it's, it's, the, it's again, the, the, how do we live together and how do we, how do we fight without killing each other? Um, it's like any relationship, it's like any marriage, it's like any uh, brotherhood or sibling rivalry. It's how do we do this without the, the, the destruction of innocent lives? And how do you let me be me and I let you be you? It's a thriller of a film. Um, and it's dealing with, with themes that are deeply human. And it's unlike anything, I think, I've ever seen on a cinema screen. I think it's a landmark film for Scorsese. And I think he's transcended himself with this film. And I have never, I have never seen a film like this. I pray, but I'm lost. Am I just praying to silence?